There's two questions I get asked about NXSL. One is, what is it? And secondly, why is it called NXSL? Uh, well, the second one's got a very dull answer, so I'm not even going to tell you what it is. Um, but the first one, what is it? Well, a few years ago, all the different management system standards were all numbered differently, which was frustrating for a lot of people, uh, for people implementing systems and for maybe people auditing systems. Um, the reasons why it become that way, because different groups of people have gone off in different directions and created different standards. Um, so someone had this great idea uh, in 2012-ish to say, well, look, why don't we make all the ISO management system standards look the same? And people said, that's a good idea. We'll do that. So um, they created a 10 clause structure. So Annex SL has 10 clauses. They gave Annex SL um, core text. So similar, similar phrases are used in, in every uh, standard that uses Annex SL. Um, there was a common uh, language used in all the standards. And actually what it's become is a template, not a template for all ISO uh, standards, but a template for ISO management system standards. And that's very important. So uh, what are the uh, management system standards that use Annex SL? Uh, well, we've got uh, 9001, we've got 14001, and we've got 27001, um, 45001, and etc. There's a few others as well. Okay, so it's only the ISO management system standards that use Annex SL and they all have the same 10 clauses. They're all called the same thing. There's a common theme and language going through all of them. But of course, in, in each standard, you're going to have extra things uh, that are dedicated just to that discipline. Okay, so I hope that explains it. Why is it called Annex SL? No, you don't want to know. It's quite a dull answer.